Going back to a couple of things I noticed, um, for one, the players I did like um, performance today on Cleveland was obviously LeBron. I thought Bron was Bron. I mean, Bron could have been better, but Bron was still Bron. Mm-hmm. I really loved Larry Nance. Um, every time Larry Nance got switched out, he played great defense for the most part. Um, when they went on that 15 to one run to close the third, mm-hmm. I, I personally think he was very instrumental defensively um, in having that run come together. Also, I still like the way Love played again. He did give me nine points, but the rebounds were huge. I even said the block, I like that. But they got to figure out something with Oladipo on that pull up jumper. I don't, they got to figure know, out. I don't know how they can stop it because even coming up the court late at the end of the game, he took what I thought was a bad shot. But I'm fine with him taking that shot because he needed it for the momentum. Where he ran up the court and shot a three from about four feet behind the three point yeah. line. Um, so I mean, hey, it was I mean, lethal. He was killing my, my thing. My thing is again, you say with um. I heard Kenny Smith talking on um, TNT about it earlier. He was like, yo, if anybody runs at me on a pull-up, I just run straight at him because now you got to get two moves to get by me. And if you want to pass it off or, like, go go to the rim, go ahead. But mm-hmm. we not for to just let you sit up there and just carve yourself from three all night yeah. and carve yourself from the um, mid-range all night. Also, when they switched off and Clark Simmons gets switched on the big, he was getting abused. Mm-hmm. Um, even in one play. Uh, forget what ex- uh, he got switched on Trevor Booker. It was like oh, they yeah, were making a yeah, run, yeah. and he just yeah, completely yeah, moved somebody's him out like, the way. Somebody's like, you can look at him and tell him until he's hungry. It's like, get at man, come on, man. Yeah, like he's, he's a six four guard. What do you want him to be? You want to be PJ Tucker? No, you don't need him to do that. Yeah, but it's not his fault. It's he, not his fault. He's not, Jordan Clarkson. The Cavs traded for Jordan Clarkson no, and Larry Nance, and now people are gonna be mad that they got Jordan Clarkson and Larry no, Nance. No, you no, traded no. for the man. No, no, no. It's not. But the thing is. We notice those mistakes more when you go 0 for 3. He played, nobody could really knock down a shot. Again, you're not going to be, the Cavs not going to be anybody in the NBA shooting 8 for 34 from 3. And even like what Bron said, yo, we played decent defense. We kept them under 100. They actually did. They kept them under 100. If you think about it, if they could have consistently put together, they went on a 15 to 1 run. If they could have consistently put together good possessions and not turn the ball over, Mm -hmm. we might be having a different conversation today. We might be having a different conversation. It wasn't that bad of a performance, but you cannot. I t- on game two, I don't want to see no no Braun field goal attempts for the um first nine minutes. I don't want Victor Oladipo to have eleven points in the um first on what Tuesday. I don't mm-hmm. need to see that. So I'm not going to jump all over him. I'm not going to jump all over him for this performance. I'm not going to do it. Mm-hmm. But what I will say is they got a lot of things that when they go to practice on Monday, they can go look at the tape and get better at. It.